there's nothing more influential in the history of technological advancement than war. And the one thing that changed the world by giving us another one is the World Wide Web. In the late 50s, during the Cold War, the U.S. Department of Defense launched ARPA, and ARPA developed a basic system for hyper-fast communication, which later in the 60s evolved into ARPANET. In the 70s, the three pieces of our daily web was brought onto man. Ray Tomlinson developed the first electronic mail system. TCPIP networking was developed and are still the workforces of the net today. And third, the first spam mail was sent through ARPANET. In 1984, the domain name was introduced which we now know as the IP address. Tim Berners-Lee created a hyperlink database system and coined the term World Wide Web. The first address was info.cern.ch At alam nyo bang hanggang ngayon, buhay pa rin siya? Also, in 1984, William Ford Gibson did some fantastic foreshadowing and coined the term cyberspace. By the end of 1992, there were 26 publicly accessible sites. And two years later, Jerry's Guide to the World Wide Web was released. Hulaan nyo kung anong site ito ngayon. Yup. The mother of all search engines, Yahoo.com. And in 1998, the father of search engines was born, Google.com. With no other function but to serve, it remains unrivaled as a search engine to this day. The internet has 147 million users. And a year after, 1999, the dawn of our time. The first MMORPG EverQuest is released, opening possibilities for a new age. But then, the haters and Nostradamus wannabes forecast the Y2K bug. 2000 came and nothing. Ang theory ko, marketing scam. Maybe, maybe, pero may theory din ako na baka yung dot-com burst yung real-world changing disaster. Hmm. Today, however, the web is a necessity and it has taken over many, many lives and created industries solely reliant on it. The internet now has 1.5 billion users and has over 100 billion web pages. And with that number still rising, I'm pretty sure that the World Wide Web is here to stay. <laughs>